we'll do rag work. We do have a little bit of trouble with this occasionally, especially when it's warm. Not today though, it's raining again. Poisonous to uh, cows and cattle. So we're looking at these at, uh, at Great Yorkshire Show. Thanks to the guys who uh, popped up and said hello. Uh, met a nice, very nice gentleman in the uh, chorus stand from Skipton. I had a chat with him for a few minutes and uh, they'd be telling me how they'd been doing a little bit of sage making. Uh, didn't just catch his name, but uh, nice to see you. I'll give you a mention anyway. So yeah, so we're looking at these at the show at different times and uh, we've looked at it for a while. So, uh, so we thought it were a really good idea. So uh, we've got a couple. Uh, we managed to get them on the grant scheme. Um, we'll try and get these fitted as soon as we possibly can. But uh, really, what is it? And what's in the box? And what does it do? We'll, uh, we'll get that sorted. We'll try and get it fitted. There's uh, about 101 parts to it. There's all these bits laid down here. But uh, yeah. That's going to be fun fitting that, we're going to enjoy that. Uh, we just need to learn how to wire the thing in. Big benefit to the cows, it'll help them a lot, I'm sure it will. Alright, we'll crack on with it, see if we can get it going and, uh, and get them fitted. It's a wet day job. Yeah, plenty of them. This lot are happy though, we're uh, feeding a bit of this round bill we made earlier this year. It's a nice stuff, uh, nice and sweet. The cows will love it. We do get a bit of ringworm on them though occasionally. Um, I think it's something everybody suffers with. Uh, that's what the marks are. You can see the marks on the faces. A little bit of ringworm. The ringworm is not an actual worm, it's a fungus. Um, it's one of those things, we can treat it. Um, vet says I can treat it and give you some stuff to treat it with, which is, uh, which is great. They say I'll cure it in about six weeks. This is the other alternative, if you leave it eight weeks, a little bit of sunshine, it'll cure itself. So, and it generally does, it's only uh, it's not like a little bit of a, a skin infection and it wears off uh, really quite quickly. UV light helps clear that up. Um, we do uh, suffer with it occasionally, but they only ever get it once in their lifetime. So they're better off having it, cal having it as calves. It's a bit like us getting measles or mumps. Um, you get it once, or uh, well, chicken pox is a more ex good example. You get chicken pox once as a child and you're better off uh, having it when you're younger and then you don't get it again. Uh, but yeah, it's just, just a little bit of ringworm. It's nothing really to worry about that these guys will clear up. But see, they've got it when they're a bit younger and these guys have probably had it, had it earlier, but they're a bit older and it clears up nice. But yeah, they're tucking into this year's bit of carriage and they're loving that, absolutely loving it. 60 mil to centre. We've got the fans up and running of the motors, we've got the electric motors up and running now. Uh, just a little bit of a test run, there's one there, one there. So we need to get the blades on there, let's go find Simon. So to work it out, we borrowed this uh, man basket, it's been brilliant, it's, uh, it's worked really well, it's quite safe as well, stops you falling out, you don't want to be working in the bucket. But, uh, cows, they don't like it hot, they don't like it hot at all. Uh, cows prefer a lot of air movement. So uh, these fans, hopefully, they're going to uh, they're going to help us big time. Not too bad today. This see how she's uh, see how she's panting a little bit. I'm trying to avoid heat stress. Uh, they get uh, they get too warm, but uh, that's only one problem with our building. It, it's just a little bit short of airflow. We could take the ridge off, which will help a lot. Um, it will definitely benefit uh, benefit the building, but uh, we didn't. Uh, we didn't fancy taking it off because we get some really high winds and uh, the things with high winds in a building, if the air can get in under pressure from high volume, it needs to be able to get out and uh, what it'll do, it'll blow under the ridge at this side 
and it could uh, it could lift the roof we've had it happen before so we decided not to take the ridge off and we've been looking at these fans for a while but heat stressing cows it's uh, it's not ideal uh, what what we get usually is uh, they all congregate a lot at this end it's not too bad today from congregating but they all this end of the building is a lot more airflow and they tend to uh, tend to stand at this end and they're very very quiet today they're all full of grass they're all full of grass as always but heat stress is a big thing in cows they say it affects them uh, big time just remember they're uh, they eat all that grass and all that silage and all that food and the uh, when they get laid down like this I mean just just look at her belly she's absolutely chock full she's puffing and blowing because she's that full but the heat is generated then with rumination I mean she's having to ruminate and digest all that grass so uh, she's absolutely cooking so the rumination in them makes them absolutely cook but uh, heat stress is, uh, is a bad thing in buildings especially if you're housed 24 7 like we are we need to uh, we certainly need to do something about it we're working on it the flies as well at this time of year are starting to plague them a little bit as well uh, we have uh, been trapping flies uh, there's a video on that somewhere but they've done really well for us of the uh, fly traps and they've really kept them down so we've uh, we've not too much of a problem just yet but i'm just trying to deal with the heat at the moment um, it's got a little bit warm i know we're not in america with 30 and 40 degrees of heat uh, but we did get it last last year which was an absolute uh, an absolute killer the cows are happy they look fairly happy it's just that they're, they're, uh, they're just panting a little bit because it's warm and there's a hell of a lot of rumination going on in there and they're swishing the tails a bit now um, we tend to leave the tails on a little bit in summer um, we could trim them off make them a lot neater but uh, what happens is they've nothing to hit the flies with pulling this ragwort out it's a bloody nuisance um, trouble with the ragwort is and why we do it is uh, it's poisonous to uh, cows and cattle you don't eat it while it's growing and it's stood up and if you cut it off and dry it they'll eat it and then it becomes poisonous so uh, usually in uh, this sort of time August it's a bad time and what we'll do we'll pull it out and uh, try to uh, stop it seeding because when it seeds it's like thistles and it blows all the fluffy seeds and they fly all about um, obviously it's a never ending job because your neighbours don't always clean it up either but you know it's usually not bad to pull you just grab it around the bottom like that and if it's dry enough we can usually just pull it out all right Ow, I suppose <laughs> <laughs> but it's a uh, it's a flipping nuisance it's a horrible weed it's uh takes a little bit of getting rid of what we'll do we'll uh, we'll try to burn this and uh, then stop it seeding but it's very close to seeding now yeah just starting to get past the aren't they now where they pull them out where they pull them out they're just getting dry and bottom out so we're a bit late with it really best way to control it is to spray it spray it in the spring uh, or early summer uh, that kills it straight away it just kills the whole lot clean out and you never never trouble with it but uh, if you don't spray it, especially under the wall edges and the, and the hedges it uh, it grows bloody everywhere absolutely everywhere and it's horrible stuff I hope we haven't made a mistake with these fans so look no cows laid here where the two fans are but further up the building they seem to be uh, laying more where the fans aren't I thought they were laying under them to be honest we'll go and have a look so the fans are uh, running lovely up there but, uh, there's no cows laid down here and it's lovely and cool, lovely and fresh I thought they would have been laid down here so the cows are laying more at this end as you can see the fans over there, maybe it's a little bit too uh, too drafty for them maybe it's running a bit too fast I wonder if I try slowing it down a little bit and see if that works I hope we haven't made a mistake but the cows are laying more out of the draft than uh, up there in it but uh, I know where I'd be laying so uh, yeah interesting there's only one way to test these fans and uh, what we'll do we've got a couple of smoke uh, smoke bombs and what we'll do we'll set them off um, I'll try and film it first without the fans running and see, uh, we'll see how quickly it clears um, these are non-toxic ones the ones that you use on parties and uh, on filming uh, 
filming uh, different things, but they're non-toxic for the cows. Uh, to make sure you don't get actual proper smoke bombs, these are like a, just a vapor that's, uh, that's not toxic. So what we'll do, um, I've got a camera running down there, and we'll leave that running. And what I'll do, I'll set these, uh, these going, and we'll try it without the fans, and we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and use two of these, uh, two of these in here to see uh, to see what happens. So it's just where to put them uh, to see uh, see how quickly how quickly the smoke clears. Um, it's just where to stand them. See? Yeah, one will stand there. All right. Um, we've got four of these. They came in like a, a pack of four. So I'll, what I'll do, I'll try one of these down here at this end. Uh, they shouldn't. Uh, they shouldn't arm the cubicles at all because they're like non-flame, non-flame ones. It's uh, just where to put it really. I think I'll stand it in the middle of the cubicles there. That might be the best place. But I'll stand it in the middle there. I'll kick sawdust out of way. They shouldn't, uh, I don't think they'll burn it. And they're actually on the concrete as well. So what we'll do, we'll pull the ring without the fans running and we'll see how quickly it uh, clears. Uh, but I'm expecting it to be sort of slow really, it's quite still there, there's not much wind outside. So we'll try this to see what happens. Hope I don't set building on fire. So that went the bang, that made me jump. There we go. We'll see what happens. I'll go set this one off. And then we'll want monitor the smoke and see how it uh, how it goes. The other camera should be catching it. There we go. So I fill the building with smoke. Like I say, it's uh, it's non-toxic, is this? So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. We'll burn for a few minutes. But what we're doing, we're monitoring the smoke in the building to see uh, to see which way it's going. You can see it's sort of drifting down the building. The uh, smoke's sort of drifting down the building there. So that's telling us it's uh, it's slightly blowing that way. Be interested to see how quickly it clears when we turn the fans on. So these are burning for a few minutes. But there's a slight breeze in this way, so obviously at this end it's blowing it away. Uh, they just lasted a few minutes. So I don't know whether I don't know whether it's going to be a fairly good test or not. It might give us a better idea. But it's, uh, it's really blown the smoke out that way. So these things last uh, last a couple of minutes. So it's usually really quite clear here already. It's very quickly cleared. And it sort of drifted it down the building. So this is just natural airflow that's blown through. And it's sort of blown it straight through and out of the building at the end. So without the fans running, it's got a fairly nice airflow through the building. And it's drifted up from that end all the way down and blown out. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So that's a little bit of a test without the uh, without the fans running. We'll do the same again. I'll uh, I'll set the fans going and we'll see what sort of test it does this time. And the air moment in here now with the fans running is absolutely colossal. It uh, even blows the sawdust out of the cubicles a little bit. Uh, we might have them running a bit too fast, but just for test purposes, we'll uh, we'll see what these smoke uh, smoke bombs do now. Um, I'll do one there again, and I'll do one down there. Um, I think uh, cows knocked the camera over last time, so we'll uh, let's try again. Let's see what happens. Now that's going to be interesting, you can see it's swirling it round. So if you see what it's doing now, it's really moving the air, absolutely melting it through.
And you can see these, how much air movement there is now in here. But before it just blew it across. But now it's, uh, it's really stirring it up. And it's blowing it around lovely. So you can see how much air movement there is just with the fans running. That's, uh, that's fantastic is that. I love that. There we go, let's see what that one does. So a little bit of a smoke test. It's certainly ventilating the building well. <clears throat> and it's, uh, it's spreading the air around and moving it around and circulating it around. It's a lovely draft in here. So it's quite interesting to see how, uh, how well they're working. You can see how it's uh, how it's circulating the air around. A little bit of an interesting test. Right, it's clearing really quickly now, and uh, once again, it's uh, it's blowing it out nicely. Yeah, it's it's blowing it out nicely. It's clearing nicely. Um, so my conclusion there is, without the fans, on a on a a light breeze day. Without the fans running, the air is clearing out really quite well and it's just drifting down the build building and drifting outside. So now when I put the fans on with the smoke, um, the difference is it's more mixed the air. So in other words, instead of it blowing and drifting out, it's actually mixed the air. So that's uh, a little bit of an interesting test. But uh, walking up and down with the airflow with the fans running, um, I still think it's the right way to go. Uh, because the air is clearing all the time, it's constantly wafting out of the building. But uh, you can still see it's still a little bit smoky in here, just a little bit hazy. And that's because the fans has mixed the air. So a little bit of a mixed conclusion on that one. Uh, but as far as ventilation and cooling the cows, it's, uh, it works well that way. It's blowing the air down and it's cooling the cows. Uh, they're, a lot, uh, they're certainly a lot happier. And the beds are drier as well. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you think moving the air around and keeping a draft and keeping fresh air moving is a good idea? Um, the smoke's shown that we're more mixing the air. If we have the fans on, the air's drifted out slowly, um, which is not a bad thing either, because the building's quite open. But this building does get really quite hot. It's about 23 degrees in here at the moment, um, but the air is circulating well. So I'm really quite pleased with the fans. I think they're a, an excellent idea. Uh, we've got two there and then we're hoping to put another two down there later on but uh, at the moment we'll uh, we'll just deal with what we've got and uh, and just done this interesting little test